again to get the uh, the records that they shorted us, screwed us out of. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to cover the mic up because of the breeze. So seems like they may have recovered some stolen stuff or something. Yeah, I think he's just recovered some stolen stuff. That looks like dive gear of all things. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'm live here at the yeah. Florida Somebody turning in some found property or something. So we can't. We came to get. Uh... Thank you, Mr. Warden. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So they uh, they shorted us a bunch of records, or shorted Justin a bunch of records. Uh, they refused to give me any records. Um, so we're back out here today. They decided to give Justin some of the other records that they had shorted him. And uh, we're back out here today to try and get them uh, if they follow through. So Justin's going to explain the, the body, the, the open record stuff. Hold on just a minute. We'll get to that. Yes. Okay, maybe it is. Let's, let's go in, hey, let's go inside out of the wind and we can okay. do the you can explain the open records act okay. and stuff so we can we can get that done. We're just working on putting stuff into the computer. Did you figure out what that was all about? Found property, they were returning some said? yeah, some lost property. Thank you. Or stuff that was Hello News Now community, community. Okay. Let's yeah, let's do it over here. You can go here in the corner. Okay, so, so Justin, Justin's going to explain the, real, real quick, explain the open record stuff so that people will understand it. Because I know a lot of people had questions about that. And, and again, this is David with News Now Houston, who's here with me. And you'll see a lot of videos with um, on my channel of David. Okay, so this is an open records request that I did. I didn't date it, but this was March, April 7th or March 7th? Something, something like that. You can tell the date. It's from the year 2021 by the number they give yeah, you. And that's their report number for yeah. the incident report. Yeah. So but um, I'm saying that's how. Oh, that's I'm how sorry. I have the date right there, March 21st. I don't know where I got. Oh, what year? 2021, right? This is Mr. Yeah. Slater. It looks I like. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. It's friendly today. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. All right. So um, that's good. This has made me optimistic for our business transaction we're about to go do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe they had a. So this is what's called an open records request, and we're in Texas, so this is by the state laws. So if you're not in Texas, your laws will be a little bit different. Um, so body camera in Texas, by my thumb, you'll see you have to give the date. You have to give the approximate time. You have to give the location and someone who is a subject of the video. Um, and you can see my request. I requested all incident reports, call sheets, dash camera, body worn camera, phone calls and and that's it. That's related to the incident. And they gave me the incident report. I don't think I ever got the phone call. Did Andy get the phone call? I don't think I got the phone call. As you can see, I asked for a phone call. They put a check, they put a check mark above it. Yeah. I don't think I ever got that, did I? So that's problematic too. See, we may not be done after this. We may still have a couple of outstanding issues. Um now, when you do an open records request, um, and I don't have the exact statute here, but how it works is it's our information and you're entitled to all of it. It, it belongs to us, the people. And it's the government in Texas, their obligation is they have to give it to you promptly without unreasonable delay. That means no dragging your feet. So if you burn a CD on say, uh, May the 4th, you should probably be giving that person that CD by, you know, May the 5th. Uh, and that's not what had happened with the last one that we came in. And uh, I, there was 12 different videos that were responsive to this and they gave me only two videos. So we're back here today to hopefully get all 12. And the indication is we will get all 12. Uh, but I, I want to stress that this is our information and it belongs to the public. They must provide access to it promptly. And if they don't want to, the only thing that they can legally do, it's called an exception to disclosure. 
and it's something they have to affirmatively raise. It's not automatic. The presumption that it is all public. So unless they go through a, a series of steps all specified by the government code, it's public. In this case, they did not raise any of the exceptions to keep police information secret. Now, normally, government can keep whatever they want secret if it's related to the police. Normally, in Texas, because we're so uh, pro-bad cop here, uh, let the cops do whatever, you know, as long as they're, quote, working hard, you know, praise the blue, we can't ever second guess what they do because, you know, you weren't there or whatever. Actually, it's obvious a lot of times, you know, me and David are there, but anyhow, uh, they didn't do this, so the law is, the public policy is that it belongs to us, and it is ours, we're hoping to get it, it's, and when I say March 21st, I should specify, I know it's June now, I'm talking about March 2021, over a year ago. This is far from being prompt without unreasonable delay. Let's see how this goes. And my open record uh, stuff will hey, you know resolve in court. I, I forgot to bring my... Put my in That's all right, I got you. What about your open records? I'm How's saying that this. coming? No, it's nothing. Nothing. So it'll, it'll get so resolved in the federal yours, lawsuit. David. It'll get resolved in federal lawsuit. So you requested some stuff? Yeah. And what Basically happened? Basically all the stuff that you did. And what happened? Nothing. Not a piece. What do you mean nothing? Like they didn't give you any problems? No, like they failed to comply with the records request. Oh, they didn't give you any information. They gave me nothing. Only things I've gotten are through discovery. Hello. Yes, I'm Justin. Who are you? Marty, is, is Dora around? I'm looking for some videos. Okay. Thanks. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I think we have some CDs right away. Awesome. Some DVDs right away. Hello, how are you? Okay, so these are the... Oh, let's make... Okay, we got them through. These are the 12 files. All right, I appreciate it, Dora. Have a good afternoon. So look at that. I was very, this is after he was nice. Um, I don't know, does he, is he like, he's probably not family with the other Slater, is he? He might be. I don't know. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> um, oh, look here, guys. I'll show y'all something. So this is the chief of police that's going to either retire or be fired. And uh, like the chief of police in Pasadena, Espinosa, he will retire in shame because of the deeds of his department and his failure to oversee his officers so, properly. So there was some reorientation um, since last week or whenever we were yeah, here. Yeah, there, there's a different, the, the reaction here this week has been completely different than what we had last week. Yeah, so this is good. And they need to th fix, fix a that speaker though. I couldn't yeah, hear what she I was can, saying. But, uh, maybe they just said, try to just, just do it without uh, saying much. No, no, no. They came and they gave you that stuff as quickly as they can right. to get she you out of there. In and out. Just how it should have been. I mean, it's, last time she was like, I have it for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm saying this is how it should be to start with. It's all so, this fighting and arguing to get records. Okay. It's stupid. So what, I don't have the... What do we got here? I don't have a computer with me today, but we have... Scene videos. This scene is video. the right number that was on the page. So it, it looks like, like we have three DVDs. This is the jail video. Okay. Okay, so, so hopefully, last time, last time they were, what was the title of last time? David Warden's video. Yes, <laughs> David. Uh, so hopefully we're good now. It has everything. And I think they said, oh, I can tell y'all. Um, here, we can go sit in my truck, maybe. All right. And then we'll um, kill, kill the stream. Yeah, hold on I'll, a second. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, for all these LaPorte cops that are watching in Deer Park, I'm in the Mustang today. Make sure you do not stop me. Right there, Make so sure you don't stop me in the Mustang. Day. That assumes I'll stop. Oh, look, the chief even left. The chief was here when we pulled up. He was here the whole time till we went inside, and he left while we were inside. So, I mean, don't think I filmed it, but the police chief has a black car that parks over there. Yeah, he parks back not, here. Now it's not there. I'm, I'm going to walk back here. Is that what the sign says? Is I, I don't know what that sign says. I'm going to walk back there and see. I know, I know. Justin had some surgery on his on his leg, and he's he's uh, he has difficulty getting around. Back here's where you get out if you're arrested, and Laporte released police release you from the jail. The exit to the jail is right there. That door right there is where you where you come out. But I'm just curious to say if see what this sign says. It's 
see, let's see. That just says reserved parking. Now the, this is the entrance back there is where you go into the jail. Actually, the exit to the jail is back there. This is the exit to the chief's office. This is, a, there's a hallway right here and the chief's office is on the right. And then the first time I was picked up by Laporte for public photography was right there by that light pole. You've seen that video, I'm sure, where the officers swarm me and the supervisor shows up and says, take him inside. Well, here comes an unmarked Traffic enforcement is usually like that, ghost mark. Oh, he saw me and he went going. He kept going. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's funny and it's unnecessary. I mean, I'm friendly, but I'm sure that, you know, the chief has told his officers, don't, don't you be talking to that guy. He's making me look bad. I'm up here. Let's go see what we got here. Yeah. Justin. Ugh. Yeah, it just says, uh, Reserve part reserve. And then these are hopefully the 12 videos that'll be at least these 12 videos will be on the open records request DVDs. So there goes the ghost marked patrol car going yeah, the well, other I way. Love, there was a blue, uh, it may have been a Mustang. Like what it. was it? They have like a blue ghost car. Is um, that what you're there's, seeing? There's the ghost marked car. Oh, no, no. This was like a legit, like just like a, not even markings at all. Oh, I don't know. That would be good to get high res video of sometime. That one right there. That is their um, um, aggressive driving unit. They uh, they have an officer, uh, and he's out here. And he spends a lot of times in the school zones, which is a good thing. I I, I have no issue with that. And um, um, he just targets uh, uh, aggressive drivers. And goes to what Sonic? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Um, all right, so after we didn't receive all the videos, um, and you know, you always want to, so the, the key to writing, like you want to get people to do what you want them to do. So whatever your goal is, which in this case it was to get the rest of the 10 files, was to get that. And so this is the correspondence that I sent. Yeah. There's the blue car you were talking about. Yeah. It's a supervisor. A, yeah, right there. Or detectives you see that or something. One? Yeah, he's pulling up. Look at there. that blue one. It is like okay, hold totally. On. Hold on. He's going to come. Who is this? This is uh, uh, one of the officers. I've talked to him before. Yeah. He's good. How you doing? I'm live, so be careful what you say. Don't talk bad about the chief. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just haven't seen you in a while. I saw your car. Yeah, just up here getting some open records and stuff, you know, picking up some stuff. So. Awesome. The chief was here when I pulled up, and he ran away. I guess he's afraid I... No, dude out of town. Oh, is he? He yeah. doesn't drive the black charger back yeah, there? No, like that's uh, uh, Chief Bowles. Okay, okay. I was mistaken then. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, nope, uh, Chief Dordorff's out of town. Okay. All right, we're issuing a correction. Not the chief running away. <laughs> <laughs> Not the chief You keep him busy? Away. Always, man. That's good. That's good. Stay out of trouble. Huh? Yeah, it's good. I was, it was nice enough outside. I rode up here with the top down. So that's always a good day. Until it starts raining in this bipolar weather we got. You know, then I put the top up. <laughs> All right, just came to say hi, man. Hi, right, man. You be safe. Good hey, afternoon. So, yeah, they definitely decided to reorient their oh, no, um, so, attitudes so, so today. And he probably would have been fine last time, too. He was, but, but here's, they, here's the thing is, is I was a member of the Corvette Club, and his mom's a member oh, of the Corvette yes. Club, okay. so I, I yeah. know his mom. It's, it's oh, yeah, just so in it's passing, nothing. Yeah. yeah, just in passing, nothing, 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 but... Uh, so I've talked to him before too. He's he's all right. I mean he's just out here doing a job. Um, so I sent this to the city secretary, and basically like, hey, like this was burned. Oh, it wasn't five four. It was five six. And I guess Wednesday, June first, I think is when we picked it up. And you know, I was like, I just said like, what are your thoughts regarding the remaining videos? Right? I is very open ended. Just say hey, I'm gonna pass the ball over into their court, and then. She replies back, oh, actually that same night, and basically like, well, I'm gonna give it back over to Dora so she can clarify, right? And then I had to wait a couple days, and then Dora did the right thing. Dora says, Mr. Pulliam, I apologize. Hey, we don't get police apologies, hardly ever, so this is really good. I'm quite impressed about this. Um, you know, when you get something wrong, like, we're going to apologize to the chief right now, Deer Deer Dorf. Deer Dorf, yeah, he's Deerdorf. out of town. That wasn't he, his car. He was he didn't not run running away. away. It was not the chief. Um, and I think my thing just overheated. Um, okay, gimbal. 
You can do this, Gimbal. You can do this. Did it overheat or did it just die? No, uh, well, it dies when it overheats, but... Okay, I have the rest of the recordings you have requested, and you can pick them up when you get a chance, which we did, and we got it. It was easy, no issues, very good. Uh, they get an A today. Uh, they would get an A-plus if it wasn't like a year later, and yeah. um, we had to take two trips. But, hey, we're going to go find some cops. I know where some deer park cops are, which I'm not going to out which ones we're going for right now. But I know where they are. The Laporte seems really heavily staffed right now. Is this when they do some traffic so, stuff or something? Well, no. So, Laporte has a big park on the bay and a boat launch ramp and a beach. No, so, they, they during the, the daytime, summer. they get a little busy. I so, they keep, they keep extra officers on to handle. Because yeah. we just had a big inc incident down at the Texas City Dyke a few days ago where oh. the police were overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. like a fight? Yeah. Yeah, just overwhelmed. So yeah, there were there were fights. Uh, I don't crazy. think there were any shootings, but there's People a lot of problems. People are getting a little out of control. We need to be self-restraint and you know take care of things ourselves, so we don't need as many police. I, I agree. I agree. All right. Well, I'm gonna end my stream. Thank you for watching, and um, look forward to seeing the actual videos we are going to um, you know, get. We'll have those DVDs up. Here, did did your viewers see this? Yes, yes, I got it earlier. Man, my hair's a mess. We will have these <laughs> coming up soon. All right, bye, guys. All right, let Justin shut his down. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this down. Thanks for hopping in here and, and uh, keeping track of us. Uh, yes, you can tell I've been out in the wind. I had the top down. I wasn't kidding. Um, hey, Ruby, how you doing? I saw Elan Lee. I saw uh, James Lynch in here. How you doing, James? Um, man, like I said, guys, I appreciate y'all hopping on here and making sure we're safe. So we're going to go chase down some lunch and then we're going to go to Deer Park for something, something else. So, all right, I will go live if anything kicks off. Y'all be safe and I'll see you again soon.